What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Monica the Diva, and I'm back again. So, how my Diva's doing today? So, um, in case you have not seen my channel or you're new or you have never seen um, one of these videos before, this is my 16 in 2016. This is a project that I created. I created this last year because I went through all my lipsticks and lipstick products, you know, liners, glosses, the whole nine, and I had over 175 lipsticks and combined items. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could just use up a chunk of them? So I decided to use 15 lip items in 2015. So um, I will link that playlist down below if you would like to watch that. And this year I'm doing it again, so it's 16 and 2016. Um, last year, I started the whole project and then I like towards the middle towards the end of the year I came into a lot of personal and family issues um, there was just things with my mom things with my fiance I was in school I was just really really depressed I didn't want to come on and talk about it I didn't want to make videos and they suck so um, I'm sorry y'all. I had to take a small break so that is why there's a gap um, within my videos, but I still did fairly well on the challenge. I got a chunk of my products finished and that's what I wanted to accomplish. So this year I'm starting off brand new, fresh, 16 items and I'm killing it already. So I'm going to jump in and just show you guys what I have used up and then what items that I want to try to work on next. Now, when I first started this, um, I listed like 16 products or whatever, but I've kind of am moving around here, there, you know, kind of picking out what works for me, what doesn't work for me. So if you decide to join this project, um, just jump right on. It doesn't have to be lipstick products. It could be a mixture of things. It could be a blush. It could be an eyeshadow. It could be foundation, um, whatever it is that you want to use up. And it doesn't have to be exactly 16. It's just about using up what's in your collection and trying to move it out to focus on certain things so yeah um since i started this a lot of people have jumped in and really enjoyed it um it's caught on like fire so thank you everybody who has done it and who is still doing it um if you have any comments about it or if you know someone that's doing it link their channel in the comments down below holler at them and let them know who I am and what's going on with me and my challenge and you know how it all got to be what it is today okay so let's do this y'all so this is where it's a little I got this box from Sephora obviously it's not brow products in here but I just thought it was a nice little box it's magnetic this is where I'm keeping all my little items at so the first thing that I finished is this Makeup Forever lipstick in N9. This was like our birthday gift last year. Um, so yeah, that's done. I have my Urban Decay lip gloss in Naked. This little thing went on and on and on. And I was marking them, you guys. Like I will mark the package, but it's rubbing off. So I'm sorry about that. But this is complete. I have this one here, and then I have another one I'm gonna show you guys that's not finished, but this is the Maybelline Baby Lips in Quenched. Okay, it's just a clear, like, um, chapstick or whatever. Doesn't really have a scent to it, but I really, really like the baby lips, so this one's done. That's three. Number four is Max Syrup Lipstick. Uh, this was like one of my first MAC lip purchases. Actually, this was my third. I bought two frosty lipsticks and then I brought this and then I hate the frosty lipsticks. I still have yet to finish those. Um, I finished one last year, but I still have another one left. Anyway, this is like my favorite. It's, it's a really, really pr pretty color. Um, that's what it looks like. This is a luster so it's a it's creamy it's moisturizing but it is still pigmented so max syrup is a wonderful color that you should look into 
And the last item, number five, um, is Max Dazzle Glass Cream. And as you can see here, I need to take this off. But see, this is where I was marking that. But I put tape over it, so it just rub right off. But that's all done. And I took out the stopper. So empty, empty, empty. So that is where I'm at and everything that is done. So the items that I'm trying to work on. Um, let's see. Okay, so I have eight products in front of me and then a couple liners. Like, just want to see how far I can get with the liners. So this one is the one that I'm almost done with. I'm not counting this in the ones I'm trying to work on because this is just about through. This is Max Sheen Supreme Lip Gloss, I mean Lipstick and Bare Again. The Sheen Supremes are not my favorite. These are really, really creamy. They kind of move around the lip. Um, they sit inside the lines of your lips. They don't give off a lot of pigmentation, even though when you swatch it on your hand, you see a lot of pigmentation. It has a lot of a like glossy finish to it. Um, but these go fast. So if you're looking for something to use up, choose one of these. So that's all I have left. So I, by the end of this month, this will be gone. So what I need to finish, and this is actually in another project of mine. This is in my Finish 30 by July 4th. This is the ELF Lip Exfoliator. And it says this in clear. Okay, it just looks like this. Kind of looks like cocoa butter or brown sugar. And it's got little scrubbies in there. Um, and then you just exfoliate your lips. I don't think I'm going to be purchasing this again. A lot of people love it. Um, when I first got it, I kind of liked it. But as I started to really get into it and I worked the product down, um, it can be very rough on your lips. I prefer to just use a towel and water, like a wash rag and water, and exfoliate like that. But, yeah. Almost done with this. This will be eight. Yeah, <laughs> number eight. Um, the next one is another Maybelline Baby Lips in Quenched. Um, finally, I found this little bugger. And so that's what I have to finish. It has been melted. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it had melted and everything in my car. So glad I found it though. Um, I also have a lipstick from Clinique called Angelic. This one won't be a problem for me to finish. This is one of those colors that is kind of sheer, but buildable. Um, I can give you guys a swatch of it. See how it's kind of sheer? But it's a really, really nice color. This is Clinique's Angelic. It has a little bit of a frost or a sheen to it, as you can tell. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, if you guys are looking for, you know, like normal uh, nudes or berries, you're in the right spot because that's all that I really wear. And some purples. Girl, I love my purples. Okay. Another one that is in my Finish 30 by July 4th are the next two items. Um, this one I did try to mark. I just took a piece of paper and I have this is where I started and this is where I am now. I don't want to put tape over it because it is peeling off. If you can tell it's kind of coming off, but if I put tape over it and then I try to mark over the tape, you'll never, it'll rub right off. So I'm sorry if I'm having trouble trying to mark them because I could do the whole paper thing, but that gets messy. And if you guys want me to do it on paper, I will. Just let me know. So this is Max Up The Amp. And this is like a purplish lipstick. This is a really, really pretty one. So there we go. Oh, sorry. Here, Max up the amp. Nice purple. Which kind of looks magenta on my lips because my lips are kind of pigmented. And the next one is another Mac. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot to return to Mac, aren't I? 
This one is a cream sheen and fill my pulse. And this one was from a um, limited edition collection. It's got this bronze kind of soft rubbery packaging. And this is a more vibrant purple. A more like great purple. And I don't know why, but I love this. And it's got a matching lip gloss that I'm gonna show you next. Fill my pulse. Sorry y'all, I'm messing it all up. There we go, fill my pulse from MAC. So the next two are glosses. This is the one from MAC. Again, see I tried to put the tape on there, but you can't see it. And this is a, it doesn't say if it's a dazzle glass or whatever, it just says lip, lip glass, sorry, lip glass. And it's in Rhythm. That's the name of the color, Rhythm. Still smells pretty good. And I think right now I'm about, sorry, about there is where I think I'm at. So this is a Rhythm. It's like a pinky, sparkly. It goes really, really good with this, or this even. So, and the next lip gloss is from Tarte. This is the Lip Surgeon, and it's in the color Exposed. Oh, Exposed, like the blush they have. Okay, I see you, Tarte. I see you. For me, this is just like a plain old nude. It looks clear because my lips are so pigmented, like I said. You can't really even tell. So this is Tarte's Exposed. Okay, little, little tiny guy. And there it is on me. I hope that's coming across true on camera because on the camera, right now to me, it looks kind of like red. But on my hand, I promise you, it's much more neutral like a nudie soft pink like it is here in the container. Um, I need to finish the red lipstick. I said this last year. I did not make that happen. Um, I really would like to make that happen this year. I have three red lipsticks in my collection. Four, that I can see. Um, four red lipsticks in my collection. Um, I think three of them are matte and one of them is like a frost. This one is the L'Oreal Lilac in the color Laconic. Woo! Lord have mercy. That is a lot of lipstick, y'all. Especially for somebody like me who don't really wear reds. That's a hell of a lot of lipstick. Uh-oh. It didn't broke, so I gotta remember that. Uh, this is like a matte. I mean, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's more matte than anything else. See how it's got a little bit of sheen right there? Okay, so that's like on it. This is potent. Oh my goodness, look at that. Mm -mm. That's gonna be strong. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. If it ain't this red, it's gonna be a red. Okay, so then I got three lip liners. Okay, this one is from Urban Decay. It's an ozone, it's just a clear. So I'm not gonna like try to give you a swatch or anything, but I marked it here. That's where I'm trying to get to, the little line right there above 24 seven. And I got a backup of this y'all. This is a full size. I've got a travel size. So I need to use this. I just put it around the outside of my lips um, if I have a color that's going to bleed, but I just need to be using it every day, just get rid of it because I don't find that this is a necessity in my collection to have. Like, I don't feel like my colors bleed all that much, so I can take it or leave it. This is another one that I have been working on and a little paper fell off. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips and Silver Lilac. I have used quite a bit of this up. 
even though it's gonna look like it's a lot left, I've used half at least. Um, so that's what I have left. And this is just a magenta. It's gonna go perfect with those lip glosses and lipsticks that I showed you. I'm gonna mark it right above it. See that? Right there? That's the lip liner. So that's just, it just goes perfect. And now that I have these other swatches, you can really see how sheer that Clinique one is. It's really sheer now, huh? And then I got one last liner. I got basically two colors that look exactly alike. This one is magenta, and then I got Max Heroin, okay? Because I got Heroin lipstick, which I also need to use. And they are exactly the same damn liners. I don't even know how Matt got away with that, you know? I bought magenta first, then here when the lipstick came out, you know I had to have hair on the lip liner. And then when I had them in my collection, I pulled them out and I'm like, they're the exact same thing. So, I mean, I can show you guys. And so is this Jordana for Lips Easy Liner. I mean, if you have any one of these, you, nobody's gonna be able to tell on your lips. Yes, you could probably see it on my swatch, but no one could tell on your lips. This is the MAC Magenta. Okay. Can y'all see that? Like, what is the difference between them two? I mean, can you see any difference at all? One is, okay, so this one, the MAC one, is obviously brighter, more vibrant oh, than the Jordana, right? Okay. Now remember, this is magenta. Let me get heroin. This is ridiculous. Nah. That's heroin. That right there. That's heroin. I'm getting close. Okay. So, heroin, magenta, Silver lilac. Just look at that real hard. What in the hell is the difference? <sighs> I don't even know how much these cost anymore. I think they are between 15 and 20 damn dollars for a lip liner for MAC. Okay, now granted, you get this full pencil, right? This is a full size. I never even sharpened heroin yet. And then this one from Jordana is a little bit less. A little bit, okay. So there is 0.25 grams and 1.45 grams, okay? So it's like three times, four times the product, all right? Whatever. Who the fuck cares when this one costs $20 and this one costs like, what is it, like $2.99, $3.99? Lord, I can't believe I got to do something about this. Two of them got to go this year. That's all I know. So magenta and silver lilac, those are my picks. That's the ones I'm trying to finish on because that's ridiculous. So that is my update for you guys. So far, I have five items finished. Working on a six. We'll be done with the sixth one by the end of this month. And maybe seven if I could just, you know, buckle down and finish this little stub. And then I can really start getting into some more stuff. Um, because if I can get seven done and it's just going to be May, then I know I got no problem. It's going to be a breeze. Um, the harder two are definitely going to be these because of the consistency of them. Um, this is a cream sheen and this is an amplified. They're much more pigmented. They're going to take a lot longer to wear off my lips. Um, and this guy here is going to slow me down. But, um. I think I can still do this. I still think I can knock it out of the park. My real goal is 20. So if I can do 20, uh, I'm a killer. I'm a shark, you know. So let me know what y'all think about the items I picked out. Um, do you have any of these lipsticks? Are any of them your favorites? Are you doing this project? Anything like it? Um, I wish that I could have done like a 16 or finished six in 2016, like a blush palette thing. But it's hard enough to get through one blush, so ain't no way I was going to finish six. But, you know, that would have been nice because I got enough blushes to do this project as well. Which, um, Lorraine, if you're watching, 
after I finish this July 4th project or whatever, I might just take you up on that. You know how you're doing your blush project, Pam? I might just take you up on that stuff where I'm only going to choose one blush. Um, and that will probably be Tarte to Exposed. I'll just continue with what next time and thank you so much for watching if you are a new subscriber thank you for joining the family if you have not subscribed please click the button down below so you don't miss any of the new videos that i put up until next time you guys deuces bye